Welcome to our tech troubleshooting video. Today, we're tackling a frustrating issue that many Ruby on Rails developers encounter when using Docker. Our viewer is struggling with their Rails application not recognizing the database URL environment variable to connect to Postgres. Let's dive into the specifics of their setup and see how we can help them resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hoping finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now let's continue on. Let's start by understanding the issue. Your Rails application is not recognizing the database URL environment variable when running certain commands. In your docker compose.yml file, you have defined the database URL correctly under the app service. However, the problem arises when the Rails application tries to connect to the database. The error message indicates that Rails is attempting to connect to localhost instead of using the database URL. This usually happens when the database configuration in database.yml does not reference the database URL. To fix this, you need to modify your database.yml file to use the database URL environment variable. Replace the database configurations with the following code. After making these changes, try running the rake db create command again. This should allow Rails to correctly use the database URL for connecting to your Postgres database. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your Rails app isn't connecting to Postgres and Docker Compose, check a few key things. First, ensure your app container is linked to the Postgres container. Second, verify that your database URL points to the correct host name of the Postgres container. Lastly, set the Rails and V variable explicitly in your app container. In your docker compose.yml, make sure the app service depends on and links to the Postgres service. For example, use depends on and links to establish this connection. Update your database URL to use the Postgres container's hostname instead of localhost. For instance, change it from localhost to Postgres. Finally, set the Rails NV variable to development in your Docker Compose IML to ensure the correct database configuration is used. After making these changes, your database commands should work smoothly. Hope this helps. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue arises from the rake task trying to create the test database, likely due to your database YML file using localhost for the test environment. When you run rake db create, it uses database URL or configs database at while based on the current Rails NV. If Rails NV isn't set, it defaults to creating development and test databases.
make sure to pass the correct environment variable to avoid creating a test database by default. Also, consider updating the test database credentials in your database.yml. For more details, you can refer to the Rails guides on connection preferences. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're having trouble with Rails not using the database URL to connect to Postgres, you're not alone. This issue seems to stem from a config merging problem in Rails 5.1.x. To fix this, you can explicitly set the database URL in your configuration. Just add URL link database URL descent in your default block. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The issue with Rails not respecting the database URL for Postgres is likely due to the rake task trying to create both development and test databases. If the development database already exists, it can lead to errors. Even when specifying the database name in the database URL, Rails may still attempt to create additional databases. This behavior is expected and not related to the Rails EMV setting. There are workarounds available, including using gems or modifying the database.yml file. A suggested database.yml configuration can help create both databases without errors. And that's it guys, we've gone through the solutions and I'm hoping that it resolved your issue. If it did, please hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.